Can we? What's up, y'all? Oh, <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? We are the plug, aka Promotions, is in the building. Um, I have a special artist with me tonight, so of course y'all know how I do. I'm um, gonna let her introduce herself, and we're gonna take it from there. How y'all doing? It's me, Anya Labella, and yet bring her aka Promotions. Shout out to aka Promotions, Karen. How you doing tonight? <laughs> I'm doing good. So glad you are finally here. Yes, finally. It's been like months. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, all right. So I want to go back into um, going to your childhood real quick. Okay. Um. So you was raised in the Bronx. Yes. You lived in the Bronx yeah. growing up. Okay. I so. lived in the Bronx till I was about ten years old. Okay. Yeah, and then I moved um to Long Island with my uncle. Lived out there till I was about fourteen. And then, you know, the rebellion started. <laughs> it wasn't really rebellion, but we ain't going to get too deep into it. But, you know, I ended up moving to Brooklyn. Okay. And from there, I just bounced around um, up until I was 18 and I went to college. Okay. What school did you go to? Um, I went to Fulton Montgomery. It's a community college upstate. Well, it's an all for real. I can say it. You know, sure. You know. <laughs> So when did when did the music bug hit you? When did you know you said oh, I really want to pursue this uh, professionally? Okay, so when that happened, that was five years ago. Um, I was working at a job with one of my friends, mm -hmm. and he was an engineer. Um, he wasn't working in any studios or anything like that. He was just you know making beats at home and you know doing his own thing. Mm -hmm. um, and you know we were getting to know each other at work. So one day. We just happened to be talking about music, and I was like, yeah, because, you know, I be writing, but I don't go to the studio or nothing. I just write, and he was like, damn, let me hear something. So I don't really like to share my music because okay. I'm very private. Like, okay. I, you know, that's sacred to me. Yeah. But I was like, all right. So I let him hear what I wrote, and he was like, yo, you need to be recording. Like, what are you doing? I'm like, eh, nah. He was like, yo, one day I'm going to come to your house after work. I'm going to bring all my equipment. We could record right from your house. I was like, oh, well, you know, that sounds good. It, it, so, you know, from, I mean, literally it was like May. And from that point on, I've been, you know, just writing and recording ever since then. Yeah. And I still <laughs> didn't even start releasing music until this year. Oh, oh it took wow. me, yeah, it took me a very long time because like I said, it's a process. Yeah, it's a process. I'm private and I'm shy. I don't like to share. Like, so I will. <laughs> I don't. When I'm comfortable and seeing y'all family, so I'm comfortable around y'all already. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel you. Like, you know, for the world, I'm just, and it's not that I care what people think, but it was always that little part of me that was like, uh, I don't think they going to really like yeah. what I have to say because I'm talking different. Yeah. So, you know, it took me a while to actually start sharing my music. And this year, I'm finally in that space where I'm like, you know, I don't care what nobody thinks. I'm yeah. going to release it. And, and that's that. It. So, so every everything that you have out now, you wrote. Yes. Okay. All right. So you, you think you're going to continue that? Uh, nice. Yeah. I actually wrote a song for Kem King. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know if we're going to put it on my EP or if it's going to go on his, but... Oh, I've been getting actually a lot better with my writing. Oh. You know, that was a whole love song I wrote for him. So, you know, I'm getting better. And actually, I'm getting better now, you know, because I'm more comfortable. So, yeah, no, that's a great skill. Like, and yeah, for me, it was poetry. I and that's where it started. Poetry. That's and then it just went into, I like this song. I'm going <laughs> to write my own verse. I'm going to, yep. you know, come up with my own core. <laughs> like, it was Asia, I didn't learn how to do a hook until five years ago because I would just literally write. Like, yeah. You know, I would write. No format. Yeah, just it was, just, I was just writing. Feel, and then yeah. my friend, he taught me, you know, shout out to Keith. He ain't nowhere to be found right now. She's like, it's another I say kind of. But he taught me how to do the format. Like, he really gave me the blueprint for this. So um it started with poetry for me as well like that was kind of my escape yeah. from what I was going through as a kid so I would write poetry I actually did a couple of poetry contests as a kid okay. and I won first place okay so okay that's where it really started and then you know I'm in the house of five boys so 
they would be listening to beats, they friends come over, you know, and they would pull me in. Yes. So I've always been around music literally my whole life, I could say, yeah. Okay. So So but you having the five boys around, you was more like a tomboy. Yeah, that's why I am the way you know, <laughs> you know that's why, you know, I played a lot of sports growing up, you know. Okay. So, what kind of I'm what you played? Um, I played soccer, I ran track, and I did softball. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Colgate. <laughs> hey, I'm into the pen relays. Hey. Yeah, it's the only freshman to make it to the pen relay. Okay. So that's that's an up. accomplishment of mine. And yeah. You know, I keep that with me forever. Because <laughs> we bad one high school. Embarrassing story. We I was on track with church. And we went to Colgate. Mm -hmm. It was our chance. So, you know, Colgate, that's a whole big yes. deal. So there's so many other people there. I think this is the first first time I ran it. I think I got a few inch. You know, you start out so fast. Mm -hmm. And, of course, me starting out so fast, I look down. And for all of us runners out here, that right, you track, know. You, know, you never look down. Yeah. So I was, like, flat on my face and everybody's just running right past me and I was like so but that's okay because I got the same <laughs> summer snow here like that <laughs> so literally that's shout out to Colgate but yeah that was the moment Colgate. <laughs> that's that's a track one too yes it's a track stone yeah <laughs> <laughs> so what's um what do you have out now what's um what's your next uh single that you have coming out now um so my next single is probably going to be options which is going on the ep honestly all the songs i dropped i just kind of you know i went crazy i had all these songs i recorded mm -hmm. they were mixed ready to push out and january 1st i was just like you know what i'm gonna release all my music Okay. So I started with Billions, which I released, I think that was New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. um, and then I released, I think, my touch after that. Um, I have, Yeah, I got five songs out actually right now. And the one that you performed the last time I saw you, what song was that that you had before? Uh, where was that at? Um, the, um, that was it. Prince Street. Prince Street. Yeah. 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 And which one was that? I think that was my touch. Yeah, I did my touch. Oh, okay. wait. Okay. Yeah, those yeah. are two I, I I like those. Yeah. yeah. The, those are my favorite, actually. Those are my two favorite songs. Oh, you too far? All right, from the mic. Yeah, there we go. But, um, yeah, I also did a, um, a collaboration with a guy from Chicago. So he was, um, he's a producer. His name is Furious Styles out of, I think he's out of Illinois, mm -hmm. but he lives in New Orleans. And he does like a mixtape where he pulls together all different artists. Mm. Um, so he had a side A, side B. Oh. And he actually hit me up through Twitter. And he was like, yo, I'm looking for artists. I was like, sure. Mm -hmm. You know, prior to that, I would never do that. Oh, wow. But I was like, you know what? Yeah, you gotta put it, yourself you know, out. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Let me do it. Let me see, you know. And he sent me the beat. By the end of the week, the song was done because you know I, I know the studio's right, right down the block. So I was okay. going. I was like, yo, <laughs> nah. He sent me this beat. I want to get it done. Like I told you, it's the year doing. So I was like, yo, he sent me the beat. I'm gonna do the song. I sent it back to him, and he dropped it like a month later. So I got Lux up, uh, okay. which is my collaboration with Furious Styles. All right. So where's your next performance is at? Because I see that you out, you know, doing shows and stuff. So yeah, I'm actually with, supposed I, to be at Tweak Fest this Friday, the 29th. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jiggy John. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll be there. And then October 7th, I'll be doing what you sound like. <laughs> Somebody keeping you very busy. That's yes. So. Yes, I have to. I told you, you're doing I feel you. And what was the what was the motivation? Like, what what made you just say, you know what, this year is gonna be something different? I'm yeah, like I'm gonna go so hard this year with my music. Honestly, I don't even. So, I do know what it was. The year prior, I was going through so much stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, my aunt ended up passing away. That was like the last of my living elders and my family. Okay. Um, my condolences. Thank you. So. I don't know what happened. It was like one night I was at my friend's house and I said I wasn't doing music no more. After my aunt passed, I was like, you know what? I'm going to focus on my credit. I'm going to do this other stuff. Like, I don't even have the motivation for music anymore. Mm -hmm. But one night 
I just happened to be listening to some beats and I came across this beat. Um, and this was the song Smile that's also out now. Okay. Um, I started writing to it and it was like, I felt like my aunt was there with me. Mm-hmm. Like I just felt my aunt's presence, my uncle's presence, my grandmother's presence. So I'm like, I just kept writing and then I couldn't stop listening to the beat. Now, when I listen to a beat and I can't stop listening to it, I know like, okay, I got to go record the song now because mm-hmm. something is calling me. Like it's calling me. So something was calling me and I was like, you know what? I can't stop. Once I did that song, I was like, I cried because, you know, yeah. that was like well, in memory of them. Yeah. But that was also, I felt like it was them telling me like, you got to give it all you yeah. got. Yeah. Before my aunt passed, you know, I was telling her I'm doing my music and she was all for it. So um, really it's them that's pushing me. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, I, I remember you had mentioned your um your credit score, how important it was for you to get your credit score up, which is something a lot of people we don't you know think about until we're ready to go buy a car or something. You know, that's when he like, damn, I should have been paying attention. Huh? Uh-huh. But um, you know, he was kind of sharing some of your some of your goals. Um, mm-hmm. now that your credit score is where it, it needs to be. Um, but you know, what's your future plans with that? And um, you know. Yeah, so my future plans, really, I want to stop working because like most people, you know, we got to work our ass to make it in this world. Um, But, you know, I learned that if I fix my credit up, you know what I'm saying? I could use my credit to alleviate some of that. I could be my own boss. Yeah, I am my own boss already. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, really be my own boss where I don't have to work as much. So, um. Right now, I, my credit is very nice, 770. Hello, that's right. I always hey, say it, girl, we're at. so yeah. hard for it. Yeah. Um, so I'm working on, I want to get, I work in the car industry. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to get two cars. I actually want to get one car right now, and I want to do like a Sprinter van. Um, and then I'll rent that out. You know, just so I could, I know a lot of people, they looking to rent cars, oh, looking yeah. to rent yeah. sprinters. Those are Party how I sign it is. Yeah. All that, yeah. So I want to start with a car and a van first. You know, I already know people that's in the industry so they can help me, you know, maneuver with whatever I need to get done. Um, and then from there, I want to work on getting like an event space or, you know, something where people can come and throw their events you know what i'm saying like i see it everybody's looking for event spaces somewhere to throw something and they they have so many that's opening every yeah like on my yeah. ig i'm constantly yeah. getting i see new page and new business and if yeah. you want to have your event here so yeah this, so, yeah it's definitely you know, I just, fine and it's just like can. that you see it on social media and i'm like wow this is a necessity here yeah. so why not yeah you know but the problem is it's very hard to find event spaces i've already been looking oh at those. yeah super hard but we working on it yeah working on yeah, it so location yes yeah it's a lot by next year i'm gonna have the that's, buildings I'm not and then sure. you know we'll take it from them that's right that's right speaking into existence yes. <laughs> so um your regular nine to five what do you uh what do you do so i dispatch at a car service oh okay. and it's not even a nine to five i work from 12 to 10 Oh, well, yeah. my whole so, day is like <laughs> stuck at work, right. but I'm actually glad, you know, I'm where I am now because last year I was in a whole different space. I was at a whole different job where I had been on and off for like 15 years. Okay. Um, they were paying me very good money, but my, the CEO, you know, she was micromanaging and <laughs> you know how they do. Yeah. So, <laughs> doing too I had to, you know, I took a pay cut. Okay. And I left. Um, I just quit my job. You know, right after that, I ended up losing my place. So I was bouncing around for like eight months. Um, I started back. I actually worked at this job for a year. Um, and then I left to go back to my old job. <laughs> so, you know, I took a pay cut, but I'm much happier. I you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they give me the opportunity where I could come to the events. You know what I'm saying? I could do what I have to do for my music. So... I'm just grateful for that. That's what's up. Do you come across a lot of um, younger girls that, you know, may look at what you're doing and just be like, wow, you know, like. There is one young lady that, you know, I met. Actually, I met her at the algorithm. 
Okay. And, you know, we've been talking on social media, you know, just supporting one another or whatever. And, you know, I know I'm probably a little older than her, so I'm sure my words yeah. have been encouraging her. She said that. So, you know, mm -hmm. that's one person. But um, for the most part, I haven't really got it, but that's what I'm really doing it for. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I want people to know, like, I've made it through so much. Mm -hmm. And if I can make it through that, you can too. Yes. And you can do whatever you put your mind to, whether it be music, Any you know. Yes, anything. Anything. So mm -hmm. that's the goal. Yeah, definitely. I'm with you on that. Got to be a, a motivator to yes. the younger generation. <laughs> you know they need it. <laughs> we were just talking about it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. So when you're not, you know, working in the studio and all of that, what do you, what do you like to do? Like, what's your, your kickback time? Just because <laughs> honestly, I just, uh, I mean, I'm usually just chilling. Like, I'll be at home listening to beach. You know, okay. I barely watch TV. I might you do like, like the movies, bowling. Like, uh, I do bowling, pool. I like to play yeah. pool. Oh, you not yeah, a high pool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, all right. That's teach me. Good. Yeah, I'm actually pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Kim King is actually a pro. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we're going to have good. to set something up. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> the day of my birthday, that night, we're supposed to go to the pool hall. So, like oh, I said, I'll cool. send you all the information. If you, it's in Bayside. So, um, if you guys want to come, yeah. you know, and chill, very nice place. But, yeah, I... I you know, I don't do much, man. I don't do much. I'm usually just home, chilling, smoking, you know, just relaxing. And, and quiet as it's kept, that's, that's sometimes the best place Literally, to be. Like, Literally. Right? The best place. And just First chilling. Of all, are so expensive out here. I, I can't yeah. be outside. Yeah. Let me tell you something. <laughs> outside is like 150 a day. Mm, for so, real. For real. I'd rather just lay in my bed, you know, listen to some music and chill. Yeah. All of the day. Yeah. You know, once in a while, go out. You know, you treat yourself to yeah. a bit of bowling, food. Yeah, once in a while. But, yeah, these New York prices be crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> but if you go the hell out of your crib, do that. <laughs> I pay a lot of rent. So, uh -huh. I'm going to get my money. I know that's right. <laughs> so, on days like this, like these past three days have been raining and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Does that, like, spark a song to come out of you? Like, does that spark you to want to write something? Just the mood that you it get. It has. Brains. But the problem was is that uh, I did the event on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And I was out super late. Then I had to get up early, go to work Sunday. Mm -hmm. So I was stuck at work all day <laughs> Sunday. Then I had to get up again today and go to work early this morning. So, I mean, I've been in the mood to write but i just yeah, have had the time so but i know once i sit down and i listen to beats it's just gonna come it's, like that because it's been brewing inside of me like i've already been like you know writing little things down like me i'll just write even if it's just one bar i'll write it down just so i have it yeah um and then i'll go back go back yeah you know and i'll go start the beat over and then i'll mm -hmm. just you know so i know it's there so i'll have some new stuff coming soon don't worry What's your, um, what's your, like, five, ten year plan? You trying to have some kids? You want to be married? Or you just focused on this music? I'm really just invested. focused on my music. I'm really focused on myself, honestly. I mean, I'm all for kids. But, it ain't no you know, that. that's really shit. Like that. <laughs> the one thing that I would hate to do is bring a child in this world and have them live the way I lived. Yeah. So I don't want, you know what I'm saying, to be yeah. just somebody's baby mother. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't want my child to see me struggling. Yeah. Right now, I'm not in no position to have no kids. And that's how I always live. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I my cousin, she had her first son when she was 16. So um, <laughs> I've watched her struggle. Yeah. And I'm like, that's just not for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. And I've been through so much in my life. I'm like, I... Sometimes I feel like I might not be ready for kids, but you know with that. At least you know. Yeah, you know you can be honest enough to say, well, you know what this. And I come to that conclusion this year. Like, it might not need to be that. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> like, it might not be in the cards for me. You know, I might be the single rich auntie. That's <laughs> all. You know, that's all right. That's all right too. <laughs> with the event space and a good credit. Okay, why? Why? <laughs> I know that's right. Like, I keep y'all for a little while, but y'all going back home. <laughs> no. 
That's what's up. So, um, social media and all of that. Let them know real quick where they could find your your music and Yes, you could find me on all streaming platforms. Anya, that's A N Y A Labella L A B E L L A. Um on Instagram it's Anya underscore Labella eighty seven. And Twitter is Anya underscore Labella eighty seven. TikTok. Oh, I think it's shits and giggles or, <laughs> on TikTok. Okay. All right, that's all right. Well, that's all of the, all of the, the links. She yeah, 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 all of them. Follow me, please. Listen to my music. I love feedback, whether it's negative or positive. I wish more people would, you know, give me feedback and tell me what they think about my music because I never hear y'all. Nobody even <laughs> tell me nothing, <laughs> you know? And I said, you know what, I have to, I'm speaking of comments. I said I have to change that on my YouTube because a lot of my videos or future ones, yeah, the comments, yeah, I don't know how to change it. I'll be wanting to get feedback. I, yes. I didn't know how people feel about the video. So, yeah, that's something yeah. that I'm going to make sure I start doing. Like, I have to, I said, I have y'all to don't change. scare me. I want to hear what y'all think. Exactly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the good, the bad, and the <laughs> ugly. But, Give um, it to me. I, I think we have a question for you. So, <laughs> Artists today, we want to like collab with the day anybody gets in that day. That's what I heard. Pam. Um, artists today, if I would have to say, you know, the crazy thing is that I don't really listen to a lot of artists of today. I mean, the I don't even know if he's really a recent artist because he's like been in, you know. In the game for like five years, he's just now starting to blow up. But Jid, um, I don't know if y'all know Jid, Earth Gang. He's one of Kendrick Lamar's artists. Okay. Um, I love his flow. I love, you know, everything that he does. Um, other than that, I mean, not really. I, I can't think of, because I just have such a different style. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it would definitely have to be somebody from the underground, you know, <laughs> that I would collaborate with. And even then, I still don't know because all I do is listen to beats all day. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> Any other questions? That, that was it. A female artist to the head. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So, <laughs> you know, that's a tricky question. Because there's not really a lot of female artists out here that's, you know, inspiring. Mm. You know, like, when I was growing up, um, and even, you know, I was still, I was like 10, 11, and I would listen to, like, Queen Latifah, MC Light. We had those people, yes. you know what I'm saying, that would give us, you know, inspirational music. Yeah. You know, now. Show they rap talent. Show the yes, talent they exactly. were. And rap with the lyrics and real, like, all of that. But it was also positive. Yeah. So it was good, yeah. uplifting music. Nowadays, I, I'm i sorry, I can't get with it because I was raised in a house with five boys. So I'm not the type that's going to be twerking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not popping that and i'm not selling that <laughs> and first of all i'm independent so i'm not dependent on no man you ain't got to pay for shit for me because i'm coming with my own like oh, that's right you know but that's what the music is you know they want a man that's gonna do this and do that and oh i'm a pop and that's fine you know that's fine but i think at a certain point we do need to look at it because this is the next generation of kids mm -hmm. and you know, we don't want them to grow up lost. You I know, well, a lot of them are lost already. I mean, I, I deliver. <laughs> you, you said it. You said it. I'm just you saying, man. It's like, <laughs> it's about what's selling. It, yeah. It's about what's selling. And it's, it's not and about the passion of it. It's not about the love for it. Mm -hmm. It's about what's going to sell. Yep. So, you know, who's going to sex? Cells, yeah, cells. So, Sex. and that's yeah. like everywhere nowadays. Yeah, and it's it, kind of sad it. because when you're a female artist and you want to step out of that and you want to go another place, mm -hmm. like society is not checking for you as often. Yeah, like you would have that to drop right. something with a glover, a gl gorilla, yes, or exactly. scarlet. And even or then, you would have to like whatever the <laughs> really <laughs> on the car. You gonna have to. S H I T all over them on but that's why I'm that's why I feel like a lot of especially now females 
younger in their 20s or so that want to get into hip hop stay independent yeah stay independent and learn everything you can about mm-hmm. the music industry because once you sign them contracts it is yeah. not easy to get out of it they it's like they that's earn signing people. over your soul that's basically over your soul basically so them them numbers they you know when you come from the project right i mean and you guys used to see it, like oh that you know six let's zeros go. behind commas and zeros you know they're not used to that so it's like wow but that that money goes so fast because you got to pay off so many people and then before you get to enjoy it impressed your people yeah you know what i'm saying so, you gotta bring your people with you it's definitely yeah, you don't have to. I mean, you know, I don't, <laughs> but you know, I don't know. And it's it nowadays the ones they want to bring is the ones that's going to suck them dry. I, exactly. You know, like, I don't I get it. I forgot who I was watching that said that. Damn, was it Larry June? Damn, it was somebody that was talking about that and he got his first deal and he had all his boys up in a mansion with him mm-hmm. and literally they bled him dry. Mm-hmm. And he had nothing left, and he had to start all over again. I forgot who that was. I was watching. It's busy. I was gonna say it's quite a few people that's yeah. like that. I mean, yeah, yeah you know, that's you know, that's and the it's, way it's it goes. Unfortunate, because you be like, those are my partners when I didn't have nothing. Yep. So you feel like now that I have, you know, let me include them in. But the mindset isn't the same because mm-hmm. all they looking at is you to right. hold them down financially mm-hmm. forever. That's mm-hmm. all they worried Teacher. about now. Yeah, and. No, that's why I said I'm we glad. Got to do better. You know, I have a couple of people in my circle. I don't really have a lot of friends this year. I have learned so much about mm-hmm. myself. You know, chasing behind the wrong people. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad. One the time, I mean, I'm gonna be independent anyway because I got my own stuff. So I know that's wrong. Um, but yeah, when it comes time, I don't have too many people to take with me. Hey, hey, there's no man. cousin. Ain't no cousin. <laughs> Ain't it no no uncle coming out the <laughs> room? <laughs> and my uncle, hold on, wait a minute. I only got one uncle. <laughs> now that's what's up. So you already know it is a pleasure yeah, <laughs> to okay. see you. We definitely gonna link up again. You said the next thing that you're about to do is where? Uh Tweak Fest, the twenty ninth. Okay. And then I'll be at what you sound like October seventh. All right. Um I will be dropping my video soon. So look out for that. Yeah, definitely. Wait. Um, that'll be coming very soon. My EP will be coming a little later in the month. I'll shoot. I'll drop another video. Like I said, this is a year for me to do. So, and you doing it? Yes, I'm gonna keep doing it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, but with y'all support too. Thank you, Karen. You know. What oh, I'm definitely. Like definitely. I said, Not it's y'all that. support that really keep me going because I don't have too many people you know that really support what i'm doing and you know if they do it's not genuine so <laughs> i'm grateful to have people like you at street media math nah definitely and yes it's definitely genuine over here and i say the same thank you to you for you share my stuff and you know i have a lot of people that i've I know a lot of people mm-hmm. and it's very, very small. The amount yes. of people that actually share and, you know, just support what I do. Yeah. Not even on a financial level, like mm-hmm. sharing costs, nothing. It posts and sign costs, nothing. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> comments, <laughs> of course, you, nothing, you know, we so post and course, I don't have time nothing. to beg and add. Please. So the ones that do acknowledge, I yep. appreciate them to the fullest. You were part of those people. Um, but you already know that, and uh, we're gonna be connected. We are so, forever. <laughs> so we're about to end this. Um, make sure y'all definitely stay tuned for Anna Labella. She got a bunch of things coming out, so make sure y'all pay attention. AKA for most shillings. We are the plug. We are out. Thanks for watching. Thank you for having me. I need to take 30.